All right, to a first in the field of medicine. A soldier wounded by an improvised explosive device in Afghanistan has received the world's first complete penile and scrotum transplant. According to the officials at the John Hopkinson Hospital in Baltimore, USA, the surgery was carried out on Monday. That must be yesterday. The handful of similar transplants previously performed at the hospital in Massachusetts, South Africa and China involved only the penis. For 14 hours, a team of nine plastic surgeons and two urological surgeons at the John Hopkins Hospital operated on the veteran who was injured last month in Afghanistan. The team transplanted an entire penis, a scrotum without testicles, and a partial abdominal wall from a deceased donor. The wounded man who requested anonymity has recovered from the surgery and is expected to gain full function of his transplanted penis. He is expected to be discharged from the hospital this week. We think it's been a success so far, but of course the surgery was only performed in late March. So we're still very early. Uh, as we uh, mentioned, we expect the patient to be discharged from the hospital uh, this week. Uh, functional recovery, however, can take time, both in terms of urinary function and uh, sexual function. Nerve grows uh, at a very deliberate speed, so it could be many months before some of those functions could return. However, since the man's testicles did not survive the IED blast, the penis transplant did not involve the donor's testes where sperms are produced. If doctors went ahead with the testicle transplant in this patient, it would raise legal and ethical issues because the potential child could be from the donor's genetic offspring and may not be from the recipient's. According to the lead plastic surgeon, Dr. Andrew Lee, the procedure was particularly important due to the heavy psychological toll the loss of genitals takes on a patient. The patient's injury involved more structures than just the penis itself. We had to bring in the penis, the scrotum, the area around it, and part of the abdomen. For this reason, the, the arteries that bring the blood to this area uh, had to be studied in the anatomy lab to determine exactly what what arteries we would have to bring with us. Um, and it ended up being that we needed multiple arteries and multiple veins. That was the most challenging thing to plan the surgery. As far as the surgery itself being conducted, the hardest thing technically to do is perform the, ar the connection of the arteries because they were quite small. Not only the entire penis and scrotum, but also a lot of the surrounding tissue just because of the extent of injury from the uh, IED was so extensive. The same John Hopkins surgical team had performed the first U.S. double arm transplant of two arms on a wounded service member in December. There have been four previous penis transplants performed in the world, but this is the first time doctors have successfully performed the first total penis and scrotum transplant in the world. The first was in China in 2006 and was unsuccessful. The second was performed in South Africa in 2014 on a young man who had his penis amputated after a botched circumcision ritual. That operation was deemed a success with the recipient able to further after the surgery.